Empoleon, the master of waves as it was known in Hisui, is the final stage evolution of the water starter of the Sinnoh region Piplup, and it's easily one of the coolest water starters in existence. So I just had to make it into a deadly sweeper. With agility making it a complete speed demon and terror flying to resist fighting and be immune to ground, this thing can snowball out of control real quick. Today's first battle with Empoleon is against Florence, and let me tell you, you'll never look at Empoleon the same way after this one. Stick around till the end for a rental code of the team, and without further ado, I present to you all the Empoleon video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Florence. So they're going to lead off with Espinodon, the Baxcalibur. As I let off with my Ninetales, this obviously gives them a defense boost, but it's fine. I'm going to get the Aurora Veil up and we're going to have a great time. So uh, let's go straight for the Aurora Veil. I don't see why not, unless they've got Brick Break randomly. They withdraw because they realize they're going to get hit by a Moonblast potentially. And they're probably going to go through Edge, right? Eisenrad. Who's that? That's the uh, Iron Tread. So the Iron Treads comes in. Guess that booster energy probably in attack, if I had to guess. Yep, attack, that's that's fine. We get the Aurora Veil up, that is there for good until, well, for another 8 turns at least. And um, they don't have a defog, I don't think. And this killer watch will get defog randomly. I don't think it does though. Um so they're gonna get an attack boost. I think my best bet's Great Tusk here, so I'm gonna go into Great Tusk. I think Empoleon could really shine in this one, looking at their team. So we'll go into Tuscany, like so. We just need to weaken that Wook Trio. They go for a heavy slam that's gonna do nothing to a uh, Great Tusk, that's for sure. We are considerably heavier than they are. Um, so now, if we assume they're gonna switch out, we should go for a knockoff. So I'm gonna go for a knockoff. They do withdraw. Knockoff's gonna hit something pretty hard, or at least get rid of an item. Voltrian, that's the Kilowattra, right? Yeah, Kilowattra comes in. We get a nice knockoff off on that. Does a nice nearly 50%, which is great. We get knock off the zoom lens. Which is interesting, so that's uh, scary. Let's go into Sloking real quick. Sloking's my special wall, so it can definitely take any hit from this Kilowatt no problem. So there we go, Drip Queen comes in. Like so. And they go straight for a Hurricane, which unfortunately is gonna miss. So that's unfortunate for them. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go for a uh, Future Sight. They go for a Thunder Wave, which is very interesting for a, a Kilowatt to have Thunder Wave. Uh, I mean, it makes sense if you're going to want to paralyze things. Um, so we get paralyzed. Are we fully paralyzed? No, we're not. So we go for a Future Sight, which is great. And now we can just Chili Reception out of there. And um, there's really no reason not to. So the snow does stop, but we can just reset that. Not that it really matters having the snow up. So let's go for the Chili Reception. They withdraw. What are they going to go into? What are they going into? Eisenrad. That's the um, Iron Treads, right? Yeah, the Iron Treads comes in. We tell a chillingly bad joke, and now we get an opportunity to go into our Great Tusk again to get up a Stealth Rocks, um, which they could Rapid Spin away, that's for sure. But I don't think they'll Rapid Spin in the face of a Great Tusk, that's for sure. So um, we'll bring Great Tusk in now. There we go, Great Tusk can come in just like that. Tuscany comes in. There we are. And we just go for a Stealth Rocks here. Stealth Rocks is going to be important for breaking a potential Sash on the Wook Trio and the Cerule Edge. Or even the Miascarada. So they withdraw the Iron Treads. What are they going to go into? They're going to go into Schligdry. Which is going to be the Wug Trio. We go for a Stealth Rock. That's great and all. Um, this gives us an opportunity though. So we've got the Aurora Veil for a couple more turns I believe. They take the Future Side attack actually. Great. So. We've got another one turn of the Aurora Veil. So let's switch into Ninetales now. Like so, because Ninetales in the snow with a Roar Veil can definitely take a hit from this Wug Trio. No problem. Such a weird Pokemon that is, Wug Trio. They go for a Liquidation, that's obviously going to bounce right off us with the Aurora Veil and the snow boosting our defenses. Lowers our defenses in the process, and then the Aurora Veil does wear off. However, I'm pretty sure we can just go for another Aurora Veil here. No problem, though. And get that bulk back. There we go. And uh, we outspeed the Wug Trio because it's uh, a bit slower than Dug Trio, I think. Liquidation comes through. Does a bit more damage this turn, but nothing too major. And now I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get in my um, Empoleon. So we withdraw Nine Tails. We'll get Empoleon in. Admiral comes on in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. There we go. They go for a Liquidation. That's going to definitely do no damage as well. But it might get a Defense Drop, which will activate our Competitive. But unfortunately, we don't. So let's go for an Agility this time. 
They go for a dig. Interesting. So that's a... Uh, because uh, I know it doesn't get Earthquake. It doesn't get Earthquake. So seeing digs pretty interesting. So we get the uh, agility, which is great. And then we simply go for a Terra Flying here. And then we go for another agility because we have to go for another agility because we're going to outspeed them this next turn anyway. So we need to get the agility up. So let's do that. Terra Flying. Like so. I have Terra Flying so that we can be immune to ground and resistant to fighting. We are still weak to electric, but it's not the end of the world. So we get a second agility, which is fantastic. They're going to fail to go for dig now. There we go. Dig comes through and fails. And now if we assume they're going to switch out, if they are going to switch out, which I don't think they will, I'm going to go for a flash cannon. They go for a sucker punch, which is going to do no damage. And then we, we go for a flash cannon. We dab onto that flash cannon. There we go. And down goes the Wug Trio, which is fantastic. So this Empoleon set's actually pretty cool. And the agility really makes Empoleon a big threat. Eisenrad comes in. That's going to be the Iron Treads, right? Yeah, the Iron Treads comes in. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. We probably see a, a Terra Water here. But I'm going to go for a Surf anyway, because it's still our best hitting move. Because we don't have Grass Knot on this particular Empoleon set. So, And they're going to Terra anyway. What type are they going to go for? Water? Steel. So they don't... Okay, that makes sense. So they're not weak to the water type move. But I'm pretty sure Surf still does a lot of damage. Um, so we go for the Surf. We outspeed, obviously, thanks to the agilities. And that still does a lot of damage. They go for a Thunder Fang. Don't paralyze me. No paralyzing. That's good. So now we go for another Surf. And that's going to take out the Iron Treads, which is fantastic. Surf comes through. That's going to take out the Iron Treads, which is amazing. This Empoleon set's coming through right now for us. You love to see it. You love to see it. Espinodon, the uh, Paldea champion, comes in. This thing's going to take some stealth for a chip, um, which means they're not heavy duty boots. So I'm going to go for a flash cannon anyway, just to see if it KOs. I feel like it doesn't KO, though. It does. Okay, nice. So the, the way they brought that in, I thought maybe it was going to be a Salt Vest or something, but it looks like they genuinely don't have anything for this Empoleon. The Aura Veil does wear off, though. Sorry, the Aurora Veil. Voltrian comes back in the Killer Wattrel. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. We get to go for an Ice Beam here. So we're utilizing all the moves this game. Ice Beam comes through. Down goes the Killer Wattrel, which is fantastic. There we go. And now we just got Cerulege and Meowscarada to deal with. Now, they're, they're the tricky ones. Because Cerulege's uh, Shadow Sneak could definitely do something. So Mascagato, that's the Meowscarada, comes in. Stones do dig in. Will an Ice Beam KO? That's the real question. I think it will. Let's go for it and try it. It does. Nice. And Ponyon's got some nice power behind it. Some very nice power. And then we've got Surreal Edge. It wouldn't surprise me if my opponent forfeited here. Definitely wouldn't surprise me, but I'm hoping they don't because I want to get that final KO, that, that duty KO on the Surreal Edge. So they probably go for a Shadow Sneak here for the best chance of possible getting some damage off. Or they forfeit one of the two. Surf comes through, and that should take out the Cerule Edge in one clean hit, as it does. As Empoleon 6 0 sweeps their entire team. You've got to love that for an Empoleon video, 100%. Go on, Empoleon. Yep, Empoleon just absolutely annihilated that team. You love to see it. The next battle is against Aaron, and this one's a pretty scary one. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Aaron. So they're going to lead off with the Uta, the Lapras. As I led off with uh, Rotom Mo, so not a bad lead for us, not the best lead in the world. They're probably they're probably going to be Perish Trap. So let's go into something that can handle this. So let's go. Um, do I go for a trick straight away? I think I go for a trick straight away because this is the one thing that's really stopping my uh, Empoleon from going ham on their team. So we go for a trick like so. That way, if they do go for a Perish Tongue now or a Whirlpool. They have to be they're locked into Whirlpool, so they get a Choice Scarf. We get a Throat Spray, which is cool. And they go for an Ice Beam, which will probably take us out in one shot. But it's fine. Oh, we lived. Never mind. So now, we can go into Empoleon now. If they're locked into Ice Beam, we can go into Empoleon now. Uh, or we can go into our Aurora Veil Ninetales. I think I'll go into the Aurora Veil Ninetales. They probably stay in and go for an Ice Beam, since they may as well. Because it'll take out my Rotom. Um, so I'll go into Kushel. Get the Snow Warning up, which is going to benefit them a little bit, because they're an Ice type. But, you know, it's whatever. Ice Beam comes through. Does no damage, obviously, because they're locked into it. Uh, and now we simply go for an Aurora Veil. There's no real reason not to. I highly doubt they've got Brick Break on any Pokemon. 
Oricorio could have Defog. I'm not 100% sure whether it gets it or not, but either way, I'm getting the Aurora Veil up for now. And they have stayed in to go for another Ice Beam, which is interesting. So, and um, with that in mind, do we go for a Switch or do we go for a Moonblast? I'm going to go for a Moonblast. I don't, see, I don't see why not. Get this thing weakened up a bit. There we go. And um, they go for another Ice Beam. They're just being persistent now, aren't they? We go for another Moonblast though, 100% of the time. We just keep going for Moonblast until we can weaken this Lapras to the point where we can just bring Empoleon in, set up an Agility and go ham from there. Uh, pretty much so. Um, let's go for another Moonblast. That should do it. There we go. Takes them right down to low HP. They go for an Ice Beam again and obviously it's going to bounce right off us. But still, the snow is going to stop. And uh, now we're going to make the withdrawal. We're going to go into our Empoleon. And luckily, Empoleon, because of the Covert Cloak, cannot be frozen by the Ice Beam. So we don't have to worry about that. So we'll withdraw Cushel, the Ninetales. And we'll go into good old-fashioned Admiral, the Empoleon. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. What a beauty. Um, they go for an Ice Beam. It's going to bounce right off of being quad-resisted. And uh, we just go for an Agility here. I don't see any reason not to. So they go for another Ice Beam. Obviously, outspeed was because of the Choice Scarf. We go for an agility, like so, and now we are ready to go. So let's go for a flash cannon and take out this Lapras real quick. There we go. We dab on the flash cannon. Boom. Down it goes, which is fantastic. So with Lapras down and out for the count, they've got a Confei, which is weak to flash cannon. They've got a Lolan Golem, which is weak to the Surf. Ice Beam or flash cannon on Whimsy Cart. It's just the Zangoose we've got to worry about. Shank comes in. That's the Zangoose. We're probably going to see a close combat. So I'm going to Terra here and go for a Surf. So they withdraw. They're making a double. So they expected us to switch out fearing the close combat. But no, 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 no. Char's going to come in. Which is the Oricorio. Nice. Nice and shiny. I love a shiny Oricorio. That's so cool. So we Terra flying and we went for a Surf. So this is great for us. So I don't know what they were trying to do with our Zangoose there. But either way... We get a free surf off on this Oricorio, which is fantastic. Empoleon coming through for us right now. With the balloons on his head and everything. So surf comes through. That is going to take out the Oricorio, which is fantastic. And we might see a DC or a, a forfeit, one of the two. It'd be funny if we did. The Aurora Veil has war off as well, which is good. Shank comes back in the Zangoose. I'm wondering if they think that... Oh, they were probably scouting for the Terror. That's why they've done that. So let's go for another surf. They go for a Detect. Just to scout to see what we're going to do to them. If we've got anything super effective to hit them with, maybe. We don't. So, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> uh, so they get poisoned. Ah, they're Poison Orb. So are they Guts? Ah, let's go for a Surf. Let's go for a Surf. I think we should be fine. Surf comes through. We do our speed, of course. Um, can it take it out? No, it cannot. As they go for an Ice Punch, which is unfortunately for them, going to miss out on the KO. We barely live the Ice Punch. So have they got Quick Attack? Let's find out. Surf comes through. They do not have Quick Attack, which is great. So Zangus goes down after nearly taking us out with one clean hit. Absolutely amazing stuff from Empoleon. In comes Leia. Is that going to be the Confei? Confei comes in. Looking amazing. It's going to have that Priority Draining Kiss. But I'm going to go for a Flash Cannon anyway. They do go for the Draining Kiss priority. It's going to take us out. So, Empoleon did pretty good this game. It took out three of the big hitters. Being the Zangoose and the uh, Oricorio potentially. Lapras as well technically. But Lapras was already on Death's Door. Um, so now we just need to take care of these Pokemon. And we'll be golden. So I'm leaning towards a switch into the Sloking. Go for a Future Sight then a Sludge Bomb. So we're going to Sloking now. Nicely done. Nice and shiny. And uh, we just go for a future sight here, 100% of the time, because it'll hurt that golem if they come in the golem. So they're going to terror. What type are they going to tear into? Steel, maybe? Steel. Probably steel. Probably steel. Ground. So ground is also fine. If they go for a terror blast here, we can definitely take it. So they go for a calm mind. Ooh. Calm mind is an ooh play. Ooh play. So with the car mind up and the future sight up, we're in a bit of a pickle right now. Because this comfy could sweep. So let's go for a chilly reception and get on out of there. There you go for another car mind, that's fine. We simply go into our nine tails and go for an encore here and hope we can encore them into a car mind. 
Do we tell a chillingly bad joke? There we go. Not a, not a very funny joke, that's for sure. Um, we're going to withdraw our Slow King. And we're going to go straight into a little of Ninetales, I think. I think Ninetales is the best way to go about this. So let's bring it in. Let's bring it on in. The Kush Shell's coming through right now. There we go. And like I said before, we go for an Encore here just to lock them into whatever move they want to go for. Hopefully we see a Calm Mind again. That would be ideal. They go for a Giga Drain, which is going to take out Ninetales, unfortunately. Uh, priority Giga Drain with Calm Mind is pretty terrifying, to say the least. They take the Future Sight attack, though, which is great, and that's going to do a little bit of chip damage to them. Now I'm wondering what to go into. I'm leaning towards the Dragonite for the Ice Spinner, so I think I'm going to do that. We're going to Dragora. Nice and shiny, got to love it. Let's go for an Ice Spinner and just take this thing out of an Ice Spinner. Or hopefully take it out of an Ice Spinner, but can't, Draining Kiss isn't going to do too much because of the multi-scale. It will recover their health. But hopefully the Ice Spinner, compared with the uh, Extreme Speed afterwards, is going to be enough to take it out. So, Oh, Ice Spinner just cleanly KOs it with a critical hit. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Leia goes down, which is fantastic. We might see a DC here. Charmy comes in. Is that going to be the Whimsy Cut? Yeah, the Whimsy Cut comes in. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Probably to go for a Moonblast. I'm going to go for the Ice Spinner anyway, just in case they don't. They actually go for a Tailwind. So they're trying to get that Golem fast, which is, makes sense, I guess. We go for an Ice Spinner, though. That is going to do a lot of damage to the Whimsy Cut. Actually nearly takes it out, which is great. And then we simply go for an Extreme Speed and take them out. Extreme Speed comes through. Down goes the Whimsy Cut, which is amazing. Dragonite coming through like an absolute champ. You got to love it. Turk comes in. That's going to be the Alolan Golem. Nice and shiny as well. We go for... Because they've got Tailwind up, so they outspeed us. So we go for an Extreme Speed just to get some damage off on them first and foremost. Extreme Speed comes through just to get this, rid of the Sturdy if they have Sturdy. They go for an Explosion. <laughs> that's one way to end the game. So Explosion comes through. It's going to destroy my Dragonite's life with a critical hit as well. But so does the Golem go down, and that is going to be the game. So GG to my opponent, Joe. That was a pretty fun one. Uh, I did enjoy that. And Polion kind of popped off at the start as well, which is cool. That Confei nearly ruined my day, but that crit came in clutch with Dragonite. Phew. And Polion definitely popped off in that game too, and it, if it wasn't for that darn Confei, we would have swept. So you thought we were done, right? Well, guess what? I have a solid bonus battle for you all against Cody from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and this one's a good one using the old Feraligator team from a little while back. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with the Talbane, the Lycanroc Midnight. As I led off with my Tusk Zero, my Shiny Great Tusk that I never used because I didn't like Shiny Great Tusk. Until now. I don't know how I like it. So, you know what? If you don't like it, screw you. Anyway, um, this thing could either taunt us or it could go with a counter tech. I'm kind of expecting a counter tech. So I kind of want to go for a rapid spin and uh, break potential sash. So um, they do withdraw Talbane. Or Talbane, however you pronounce it. And they're going to go into Hatterene to block a Stealth Rock. So that makes sense. That's a good good play. Good play. Um, so I went for a Rapid Spin. Uh, the main reason I went for Rapid Spin is A, so I could outspeed the Lycan Rock the next turn. And B, so I could break a Sash. And if they did go for Counter Tech, I wouldn't have to worry about too much damage. So um, the Hatterene's in though. We can't really do much to Hatterene. Um, it's probably going to... It's either going to Nuzzle or it's going to do something else. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into... Gonna go into my Abomus now. I think Abomus knows a sound choice here. Get the snow up. That's gonna benefit the Reg Ice against the likes of the Lycan Rock and the Breloom. Um, but we're going to snow in the Abomus now. And obviously we're gonna sell the Aurora Veil because that's the um, go-to thing right now. Uh, Psychic comes through. That's gonna sting a little bit, but we do out of speed, so I'm not too worried. That was a crit, not too bad. Um, let's go for an Aurora Veil. We should out speed here. We do out speed, which is great. Aurora Veil comes through. And there we have it. The Aurora Veil is up for good. Not really. They go for a Calm Mind. That is scary. So Hatterene does do pretty well against my team. I will say that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a Wood Hammer. Just to get as much physical damage on this thing as possible. So Wood Hammer comes through. Big, um, big old Wooden Hammer just smacks the Hatterene in the face. And then they go for a Psychic, which is going to take out Bomber Snow. So that's fine. 
Because now all we need to do is bring in the Fralligator and go for a liquidation. That's all we need to do. Fralligator, liquidation, Fralligator, liquidation. So let's go into Fralligator like so. Good old Delta coming through for us. There we go. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So, we go for a liquidation 100% of the time here. It should take out the Hattery, no problem. And I'm not about to stay in and go for a Dragon Dance because... They could have Nuzzle, and I'd rather not have my Feraligator paralyzed. Granted, I could go for the Terra Electric, but I'd rather save that, you know? Porygon Zed comes in. That's a very good switch. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, so I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go into... I want to go into Zoroark. I am going to go into Zoroark. Um, I guess Regice with the Assault Vest could have been a better option. If they go for a Dark Pulse here, then that's going to be a good play. But I figured Zoroark is immune to normal. Makes the most sense. So we'll bring in Regice. They do go for a Thunderbolt, which is going to break our illusion. But because of the Aurora Veil, we do take it like a champ. So it's not the end of the world. Um, illusion wears off. And they lose some HP because they are Life Orb, which is interesting. So the snow is going to stop. And I want to go for a Nasty Plot. I really do. Really want to go for a Nasty Plot. But I'm going to... Am I going to go for a Nasty Plot? They probably switch out anyway. So let's just go for a Hyper Voice and get the damage off. Yeah, they withdraw the Paragon Z. They're probably going to go Reg Ice. Cyclizar is an interesting one. So they probably expected a nasty plot. That's probably what they're expecting. So we go for a Hyper Voice, and that's going to still sting the uh, Cyclizar, but it's, it's definitely a Salt Vest based on that damage. So that's good to know. These things are normally especially offensive with Rapid Spin. So I'm going to go hard into Reg Ice right now. They normally have like Draco Meteor, Overheat, Knock Off, and U Turn. Something like that. So we're going to Frozone the Reg Ice. They go for a knockoff. That's fine. Knockoff's going to knock off our Assault Vest. But with the Aurora Veil up, we're still extremely bulky on the special defensive side. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, looking at the team, I'd say probably going to see a Reg Ice switch in. I don't think they want to lose their Cyclozar to an Ice Beam right away. I think Reg Ice is their best switch in. So I'm going to go for a Focus Blast. They do go for a U turn, which is going to do a bit of chip damage to us. Nothing too major. Um, and now I'm, I'm hoping they do go Reg Ice and we hit the Focus Blast. That'd be nice. Reg Ice comes in. It's the Battle of the Reg Ice. As they come in, they're nice and shiny as well. Uh, we go for Focus Blast. We, we hit the Focus Blast, which is crazy. And that's going to do a clean 45% to them, which is great. So now I do want to switch out. I, I want to expect a Focus Blast or something along those lines. And I want to go into... I think Moltres is the answer. I think Moltres is the answer. Because we don't really need Moltres for much more. Because the Breloom probably has Rock Tomb. We've got Thunderbolt on the Paragon Z. They've got the Lycanroc, which is Rock-type with probably Stone Edge and No Guard. Uh, Cyclozar, yeah. But there's the shiny Moltres that I created. What do you think? They go for a Body Press? That's fine. We're going to eat that up like it's nothing. And... The Aurora Veil wears off. Oh, no. I was going to say, and we got Flame Body. But, no, nah, never mind. Um... They probably switch out here into Cyclozar, so I'm going to go for a U-turn here. So they withdraw the Red Ice. What are they going to go into? Probably the Cyclozar or the Lycanroc, I'd have to say. Uh, Cyclozar comes in. It is definitely Assault Vest because it wants to come in and take Flamethrower, no problem. Um, so we go for a U-turn, which is going to be a bit of chip damage on the Cyclozar. They have got Regenerator, that is confirmed. Wow, they, they wouldn't use the Shed Skin or like that, would they? So um, now I do want to go for Alligator. I think now is the time to go for alligator so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go for it because in reality there's no harm in going for oh, this is the wrong alligator set oh well it don't matter we can we can rectify this afterwards so anyway let's go for a dragon dance they go for a u-turn they don't want to stay in and get dragon dance done and they're probably going to go into lycan rock right if they go lycan rock we know it's counter tech we know it's counter tech if they go lycan rock porygon Z. that's an interesting one so porygon Z comes in as we go for a Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance and up. If they bring the Lycan Rock in after this, which they might do, then we might be in a very bad position. Um, so let's go for a Liquidation. They're going to Terrastalize. What type are they going into? Are they going to do Terra Normal or Terra Ghost or or what? What, 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 what? Grass. Okay. Can Porygon Z with Terra Grass take a plus one Life Orb Sheer Force boosted Liquidation stab from... For alligator, yeah, yes it can, barely, barely can take it. They go for a Terra Blast, and unfortunately for us, that is super effective damage with a Life Orb. It's definitely going to take us out, as for alligator does go down. So that's unfortunate. So for alligator goes down, which is fine because it's the wrong for alligator set anyway. I need to change that. <laughs> they lose some HP from the Life Orb, and we simply need to go into leaning towards 
the Reg Ice again. I think Reg Ice is the Pokemon that we need to go into. So we'll bring the Reg Ice in like so. Now, what Terra are we? We're Terra Fairy. So I'm going to go for an. I want to go for an Ice Beam. I think they stay in. So we're going to go for an Ice Beam. They withdraw. Okay, so they do go into the Reg Ice. So maybe I should have gone for the Focus Blast. No, they go into the Lycan Rock. That's a good play. Lycan Rock is a good play. So Lycan Rock comes in. We break a potential Sash, which is great with the Ice Beam. There we go. Now we simply go for a another Ice Beam. Do we Terra? What's our options here? I want to go Great Tusk. But Great Tusk is probably really obvious. But I do want to go Great Tusk. Just going to make the, the play. I'm going to go for the Great Tusk play. They haven't switched out. They've stayed in. So they probably go for a Stone Edge. So I'm going to bring Tusk Zero in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And uh, they go for a knockoff, which is going to give them some Rocky Helmet Chip for a start. And now I want to go for a Stealth Rocks, because that'll stop the Porygon Z from coming in. Um, they wouldn't bring it in straight up, so I, I think I'm going to go for a Stealth Rocks. I think they bring in Breloom, if anything. They withdraw, as expected. Are they going to go into the Breloom? Yeah, Breloom comes in, so that's fine. I'm not too worried about Breloom. It's nice and shiny, though. We go for a Stealth Rock, so that Porygon Z is officially dead on entry. Unless they can bring Cyclozar in and Rapid Spin away, but I don't think we can. We've got the Hisuian Zoroark in the back for that, so they are a Toxic Heal. Toxic Heal Breloom, which is really interesting. So, do we go for an Earthquake or a Knockoff? I, I, I'm leaning towards switching out into, into Regice or something. I think I'm going to go into Moltres. I think Moltres just hard walls Breloom when it's Toxic Heal. Because normally they carry like Leech Seed Substitute, um... <laughs> Drain Punch and maybe Bullet Seed or something like that. So I'm going to bring Moltres in. Nice and shiny. Would they go for a Rock Tomb predicting the switch? That's a great play. It's unfortunately for them not going to work out too well for them because we do take it. However, they do outspeed us. So really, I should Terra here. Do I need Terra Fairy for anything else? I don't think I do. Let's Terra and go for a Flamethrower. That's what I'm going to do. Terra Fairy and Flamethrower to take the next Rock Tomb. And if they switch up moves and go for like a bullet seed here, then that's a good play as well. They predict the terror, that's going to be great for them. Not for me. So Moltres is going to terror fairy. They go for another rock tomb, which we are going to be able to take. Nice, nice. And then we simply go for a flamethrower, and that should take out the Breloom, right? Unless it's specially defensive. No, they, they definitely, definitely go down to that. So Breloom goes down, which is great. We managed to utilize Terra properly, which is nice. Tolbane comes in the Lycan Rock. So this thing outspeeds us and KOs us um, with Stone Edge. Uh, now, I don't really need Moltres anymore. So I can just go for a Flamethrower here. If they want to go for something like a Stealth Rock or if they want to predict a switch and go for something other than Stone Edge, then that's fair enough. But I think we just stay in and go for Flamethrower here. They actually make a double. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go into the uh, Cyclozar? Yeah, Cyclozar comes in. Trying to get the uh, one up on us. But unfortunately, we didn't do the switch. We stayed in and went for Flamethrower against the Lycan Rock because I ain't afraid of no werewolves. Anyway, they go for a Rapid Spin here 100% of the time, right? So we go into Hisuian Zoroark. If they do predict the switch and go for a knockoff, then that's a good play. But we go into Zoroark anyway. Unfortunately, we lose our disguise because of our Pokemon placement. They tried to go for a Rapid Spin, which is great. That means that we don't have to worry about that. Now, we just simply go for a... If we assume... I think Regice is going to be key here. So, let's go for a Hyper Voice just to get some damage off. They actually outspeed us anyway and go for a knockoff. So, um, I knew they'd outspeed us, but I figured I'd try it anyway just in case they went for something else. But they definitely went for a knockoff against the Suin Zoroark. So, uh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Now... Is the best play to go Great Tusk and Earthquake, or is it to go something else? I'm leaning towards a Great Tusk. I think Great Tusk is the way to go, so I'm going to go into it. There we go, nice and shiny, gotta love it. Uh, we go for a... Let's go for a knockoff, just first and foremost. They do go for a Rapid Spin, of course, which is going to get rid of the Stealth Rock, so that Porygon Z can come back in now. Um, but we're going to go for a knockoff anyway. And get rid of that Assault Vest. Yeah, I thought it was Assault Vest. It had to be that, didn't it? Let's go for a Rapid Spin now. Just get Speed Boost. They actually go for an Overheat. Which is interesting. So that's going to lower their Special Attack harshly. As uh, we go for a Rapid Spin, which nearly takes care of them. Which is fantastic. So now we should outspeed something on the team. I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin again. 
They go for another overheat because they, they do still outspeed us, obviously, because they went for a rapid spin. Um, so we go for another rapid spin to take them out. That way we're faster than everything on the team right now. So they're going to be very limited on what they can bring in. Now, they're probably, if I had to guess, going to bring in the Reg Ice. Because the Paragon Z goes down to us. Because we're at plus two speed, so we outspeed it. Yeah, Reg Ice comes in here. So looking at the squad. We've got Reg Ice and Moltres left. We do kind of need Great Tusk around. So I'm going to hard switch into our... Um, Moltres. I'm expecting an Ice Beam, and it'll probably KO Moltres, but I, I also don't want to risk the Focus Blast on the Reg Ice, because we showed Focus Blast earlier. They might do the same thing. They go for an Ice Beam, though, which is going to KO Moltres. Yeah, Moltres goes down. So, Moltres probably wasn't going to do much damage anyway, because it's defensive. So, Moltres wouldn't have done much damage to the Reg Ice anyway. And unfortunately, we don't have close combat on the Great Tusk, so it's a very Reg Ice game right now. Let's go into our Reg Ice of our own. Let's go into Frozone. He found his super suit, and now he's going to go for a focus blast right now, and, and not miss. Not miss, yes! Focus blast comes through. And they go for a body press, which is interesting, which is going to do a bit of damage to us. Now we go for a thunderbolt, and they are, they are speeded, they win the speed tie this time. Thunderbolt comes through. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the stealth rocks up, so the Porygon Z can come in. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. They go into the Lycan Rock anyway. Lycan Rock makes the most sense. Lycan Rock makes the most sense. So I do kind of want to go Great Tusk. I am going to go Great Tusk. Maybe I shouldn't have hard gone into Great Tusk. Maybe I should have switched out last. I don't know. Because I could always go for a Rapid Spin on the Lycan Rock. Maybe I've blundered this here. I might have made a blunder. Great Tusk should not be coming in right now. It is defensive though, so we definitely can take a Stone Edge. They go for a Fire Punch, which doesn't actually do it KOs. That's actually clutch. So let's go for a rapid spin and finish this game off with Great Tusk. They go for a fire punch again. If they get the burn, I'm going to be annoyed. No burn. Rapid spin comes through. We don't KO it, but it's fine because we outspeed the next turn. And we just simply go for a rapid spin again to KO. They actually... Are they choice scarfed? Oh. The choice scarfed. Interesting. So choice scarf, no guard. Probably no guard. That's interesting. So I shouldn't have gone for that rapid spin the second time. I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have hard switched to the Great Tusk game. We would have been able to survive um, another hit with if we'd have let Reg Ice go down. Anyway, let's go for an Ice Beam and try and finish this game off. They go for a Fire Punch. That's going to take us out. And that is going to be the game. So GG Cody, that was a good game. That was a really good game. It was nice to see two Reg Ices on the field. You never see Reg Ice nowadays. So for coincidentally us to both bring a Reg Ice is pretty cool. Anyway, GG Cody once again. What a bell. Cody definitely showed me who's boss in that one. GG indeed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to try the team out using the code on screen right now. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.